Hi, I'm Christine from CAM, and we are here at the SF International Film Festival. And I'm really uh, thrilled to be sitting next to the director of the Journals of Musan, uh, Director Park Chung Bom. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, it's a real pleasure to have you here because your film is such a successful and very strong film. It's an honor for me to be invited here, and I'm very happy to meet a uh, new audience in San Francisco. Your film has been really um, critically praised all over the world in Busan, in the U.S., uh, at you know all of the premier international film festivals. Uh, when you were making this film, did you expect to receive that kind of, you know, reception? Although I did not expect to receive so many uh, awards. The first, uh, this is my first feature film, and while I was working as a, an assistant director for Lee Chang-dong while he was filming poetry, uh, he gave me a, a four-month break after the pre-production, -pre so um, the filming of the poetry was from January um, through April of 2009, and, um, and I started working on this uh, June of um, that last year, uh, October, and then I submitted to Busan uh, Film Festival. I know that you had made a short film that was m similar to this. Can you tell us a little bit about the backstory? What was your sort of your motivation and reason for creating this story? My friend um, Chan Sung Chur, he was like my little brother. I was very, very close to him, and I met him in the university. Um, he was diagnosed as cancer in 2006, and he was fighting with cancer for two years, and he passed away in 2008. And uh, while he was fighting with cancer, I could not really take care of him because I was very busy. Um, going to grad school uh, to make films, so I felt really bad for not uh, being a good friend or not being a good caretaker for my friend. So um, I m made a promise with him that uh, whenever I get a chance, I'll make a movie about North Korean defectors. So this is uh, uh, my way of uh, saying I'm sorry, I could not be a better friend for you. I'm curious, you know, this film, um, it's a very dark film. Uh, it's shot that way, and also the story is sort of very realistic. It doesn't have a happy ending. Uh, it's not very optimistic. Um, I wonder how you see your film, the story that you're telling, in the context of, you know, of so many films that are made about uh, North and South Korea that are existing, but also maybe more generally, you know, what people see in the media about North Korean defectors and how your film is, you know. Um, maybe counter against those things or similar? Well, what I wanted to portray is that the very real day-to-day uh, -day life of North Korean defectors, I mean, there were many articles and documentaries were made concerning North Korean defectors, but in a way those are kind of superficial way of showing they need your empathy and sympathy and your help. Uh, and that's kind of, in a way, um, temporary assistance. And also, um, they can help temporary assistance and some kind of uh, uh, money, but that's not what North Korean defectors want. What they want is that uh, they want to feel that they're the same people, same nationality, same Koreans, and they want to be uh, neighbors of South Korean uh, South Koreans, and that's what they want to feel, and that is what I wanted to portray. So um, they are always trying to be happy, but it's very difficult to obtain happiness in South Korea, and they don't want to be always tagged as uh, North Korean defectors. They just want to be one of us, uh, South Koreans. Um, so I don't think that mass media was successful in portraying in that manner. Can you talk about how you use those structures in Korean society to place your character in this situation? Well, when North Korean defectors uh, first come to South Korea, they do receive uh, a lot of assistance from various religious organizations, whether that is uh, Catholic, Christianity, or uh, Buddhist temples. So sometimes they receive a very basic um, living cost from them, and also by going to these uh, different religious organizations, they meet South Koreans, and then they uh, facilitate meetings, um, and so they provide help to adopt South Korean culture in a way. But sometimes, uh, notwithstanding their good intentions, they are tagged as North Korean defectors, or they can say just the friends in church, but nothing else. In the movie, he even actually confesses his love, but his love is never accepted. It's unliquidated love. 
Um, and that is what I actually witnessed through my friend Chan Sung Chol. He had a girl um, whom he had a crush on, but uh, she could never be his girlfriend. And also, the uh, several stories that you see in the movie, like the one friend betrays his other friends and they steal money and and or charges uh, money to send to North Korea as a broker. All these things happened. Actually, I witnessed through. Um, I found out from Chan Sung Cho. So I kind of wanted to show. Um, in a one culture or um, society of the North Korean dictators in a capitalist society, how they can all puzzle each other little pieces.